We all know that feeling of visiting the neighborhood diner that's full of character and feels like home. There is a diner just like that in a neighborhood in Minneapolis. The Band Box Diner has been there now since the 1930s. However, it is closed due to COVID and has not been able to reopen. Fox 9's Hannah Flood joining us live and she is showing us how the neighborhood is now trying to rally around this place and get it back open again, Hannah. Yeah, there used to be more than a dozen band box diners around the city. This is the last one left. It's more than 80 years old and now a, a neighborhood is fighting to save it. You know, so it was always just kind of just kind of a little diner that could, I think. The iconic band box diner has sat at the corner of 14th and 10th in the Elliott Park neighborhood in Minneapolis since 1939. We got on the historical preservation. Uh, gosh, maybe 20 years ago. So we got in on the culture significant with the, um, the fact that the original owners were Jewish folks at a time when in Minneapolis it was kind of rough for Jewish folks. In the late 90s, Brad Patachik and his wife Heather bought the diner and he's worked as a cook behind the counter ever since. It's a real eclectic crew. I mean, that was that's one thing that's kind of important about the band box. When the pandemic hit in March of 2020, like everyone else, the band box had to shut its doors. And Brad has struggled to find a way to safely reopen and is facing extra costs from break ins and other damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was graffiti. Yeah, and back around the corner was graffiti. Everything got pretty nailed. This is the landmark of this neighborhood. Cassie Gardner owns an art gallery down the street and has been going to Bandbox for more than two decades. She recently launched a GoFundMe campaign to get the restaurant open again. This place to me is the spot where you bring every other towner, every best friend you've ever had. It's just, I mean, it's everything. The campaign quickly took off and like for so many decades before, the neighborhood has stepped up to try and keep this little diner that could open for decades to come. There's a lot of change in Minneapolis, you know, and not a lot reminds me of Minneapolis anymore in a way. And I think this place will always remind people of Minneapolis, you know what I mean? Now, Brad says once he's able to make those repairs and get the diner reopened, they'll probably start slow with some takeout. You can learn more about the fundraising efforts on our website. Live in Minneapolis, Hannah Flood, Fox 9. All right, thanks, Hannah.